Okay, guys, I'm here today with Giancarlo Bodoni, huge honor for me, and Placido. And uh, guys, Giancarlo this week is filming an entire structure all about top pin attacks, right? And uh, a lot of side control attacks, submissions, right, Bodoni? Yeah, so basically, um, the last uh, series, the last video in the Essential Connections was chest to chest half guard passing. And now we're doing um, just attacking from side control, mount, uh, north south, and then transitioning to the back as well. So being able to transition from chest to chest to chest to back positions. Got it. So uh, the move we're going to show today is the, how you set up the arm bar from the side control, right? Yeah. Yeah. So um, basically from side control, the majority um, of the attacks, if we're looking at submissions, are going to come to, are going to be based on the far side arm. Okay. And one of the more common techniques that you learn pretty much early on in Jiu Jitsu is a far side arm bar where we come through, we pull our training partner up, and you spin through to the arm here, okay? So <clears throat> one way that we can set up the far side arm bar is that usually your training partner is gonna to look to have this frame across your, uh, across your shoulders. And as he goes to push you off with that frame, we can use a pass by to punch my training partner's arm across to the opposite side and feed it into this short underhook where I pull the elbow in front of the, of the sternum and we end up in this position here. And as I go and I start stuffing the head, I step over and around the corner, and from here we sit through to the far side arm bar. But the problem with the far side arm bar is that we end up in this position here where I don't have a leg across my training partner's torso, and also many times your cross face leg will end up here, okay, on the wrong side of your, of your partner's arm. And so you're very vulnerable to turnouts, okay, where he goes to start turning to his knees, and then from here you can start losing the arm. So a good way that you can counter this is that the second that you sit through the armbar, because your legs are in a less than desirable position, we could start switching to a figure four grip, okay, or a Kimura style grip, where from here, as he goes to try to turn out, he unlocks his hands, he can't perform that turn out correctly, okay? And if he stays here, there's a bunch of different things that I can do. I can switch to side triangles, I can switch to a variety of different attacks on the arm. So this will initially slow down his, uh, his turn out escape or make it impossible for him to hitchhike her out. As he goes in and realizes this and starts looking to reconnect his hands to prevent me putting a hand on the floor or whatever the case is, from here we keep the grip, we take our leg out, and we use that to thread into X feet. And this will offer us good control over your training partner's forearm. And then from this position, it's a lot easier for you to go in, separate hands, and go in for your classic arm bar finish. So how do you do the transition from, the, from when you arrive at the arm bar to that grip? Yeah, so from this position, so one of the techniques we're going to look at is as your training partner uh, uh, in the instructional is a pass by, but essentially any situation where your training partner is really committed to pushing you with this frame, we can lean weight onto him. And as he goes to push, we can use a thumb to right. punch the arm across the opposite side. So that'll feed us into the underhook. Now we take the underhook short and you take it onto the, onto the chest. And from here, I start leaning weight on your partner, start taking the shoulder, driving it into the hip, and we start stepping over the head. And as we step over the head, when we pivot and sit, this is when you're most vulnerable to the turning escape. Okay. So in order to prevent that, we'll switch to the switch more grip quickly. Okay. So this is my first priority, because if I stay here and I start looking to separate his hands, he's gonna turn out every time I'm gonna lose it. So I have to make that transition and switch to this. That way, when he goes to turn out, he can't do it. If he stays committed to the turnout, I can switch to other attacks, but most likely he's gonna realize that he's not able to turn out. The arm is vulnerable and he'll reconnect his hands. And then from there, you can thread through into this position. And then here, it becomes a whole lot easier for us to go in, separate the hands, yeah, and go really. for the finish. Oh, that's amazing because I think like, probably like 95% of the times people lose arm bones is because they are able to turn, right? So yeah, doing exactly. that, they can't turn. Yeah, that figure four grip, that Kimura grip makes it pretty much impossible for yeah. them to turn out. And I love it that you have your two hands, because for example, many times I grabbed the leg in order to avoid them turning, but now I only have one arm to attack. So yeah. this is a mechanism that you can use that you can still have your both hands. Yeah, and it slows them down so you can take the other leg out and then th feed it through. No, that's awesome. Yeah. And, the, and the, this whole structure is all about like, ping attacks, but not only from side control, right? Yeah, so basically we'll, uh, I'm starting the, instruct the instructional in side control, and then we'll look at like maintaining side control, side control attacks, um, various ways to isolate the arms in from side control, and then progressing to mounted position, and then also taking advantage of times where there's gonna be back exposure to switch from a chest to chest position to a chest to back position. So nice. it'll be all about yeah. attacking from top pins and pinning dynamically between various uh, pins. No, no, that's awesome. That's awesome. And guys, uh, if you follow the ADCC last year, Bodoni had four matches 
and he got submission in three of them. And the only match that he didn't get a submission, he finished the match with the rear neck choke uh, locket. And uh, has anybody ever won the ADCC division with all submissions on every match? I think you. I think uh, Cade won actually this year. Yeah, all submissions on every match. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, but you were very, very, very close, very yeah. close to, to achieve that as well. <laughs> Yeah, so guys, uh, if you're looking for to improve your submissions and attacks from pin positions, this is definitely a guy to learn from. And uh, make sure to check it out. It's going to be at bgjfanatics.com and maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So thanks so much for learning. Thank you. Os. Thank you, Placido. Os. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed bjjfanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.